guys, keep it going for everybody tonight, huh? This has been great. What a great show. Or don't. That's cool. Whatever you want to do. I'm cool with it. Uh, I know, I love comedy. This is the best. Uh, you know, uh, I've been a comedian a while now, and I think the best thing about being a comic is it keeps you young, um, financially. <laughs> yeah. The body says 31, bank account says like 17. It's like, why do you even have one? I know. <laughs> but I've had a bunch of weird jobs trying to make it for a while. I was a, a dog walker, actually. So it wasn't that bad a gig. Dogs are great, love the dogs. Owners, uh, those people can die in a fire. <laughs> They were obsessed about their dogs. They were neurotic, right? Every time I'd walk a dog, I'd send an email immediately letting them know what happened on the walk with details. Oh, yeah, like, oh, Scrappy did number one. Uh, he had a good interaction with a Doberman. Overall mood improving. <laughs> I get these emails back immediately, like, oh, no, no number two? You couldn't get number two? <laughs> well, I fucked up because the dog didn't shit? What was I supposed to do? So I just started lying in the emails. I'm like, oh yeah, Scrappy did one, two, three, and four. He peed, he pooped, he puked, and he came. So, he's empty. So just uh, leave the money on the dresser, I guess. But, uh, I've been having a tough time in fighting a lot with my sister. I have an older sister and we fight all the time as siblings are wont to do. But it's more difficult for me because she's a therapist. Oh, this is, this is worse, yeah. We get these arguments, she has this arsenal of crap I just can't compete with, you know. We get in a fight, she's like, Grant, you know what you are? You're just a codependent narcissist. You overcompensate with comedy because you're afraid of your emotions. <laughs> I'm just like, you're fat. <laughs> Still makes her cry, you know. I, uh, you know, I don't... No, it's cheap, you're right, it's cheap, and I'm smarter than that, and I want to take it up to her level. Okay, I'm proud of this. The other day, I'm in the middle of this argument. And she's like, Grant, I'm never talking to you again. I'm like, fine, I'm never talking to you again. So never talking again, right? Hour later, she sends me this email. Attached to the email is this article about resentment. Yeah, which I resented immediately. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> so I sent back an email with an article attached about passive aggressive behavior. Boom, up top. She fires one back about the competitive male ego. Yeah, so I sent her a computer virus. <laughs> She's talking about I won, so. <laughs> but uh, I'm half Jewish, uh, and it's on my dad's side, so technically I'm not Jewish, but uh, you know, tell it to my face and hair. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> but I'm actually confirmed Catholic. I am also bar mitzvah Jew, and I'm a practicing Buddhist, actually. Kajubu is a word I made up. <laughs> I did grow up learning about Jesus. Now, Jesus was a Jew, right? Which I feel like people forget. I feel like people forget that. I think the reason is because he was like the least Jewy of the Jews. Right, have you seen him? He's tall, he's handsome, he's fixing things. <laughs> I have not seen this Jew. This is not the Jew that I'm familiar with. Right? Isn't it weird too if you think about it, that Jesus was a carpenter? Because it's like, why? Why bother learning a trade? You're the son of God. Do that. <laughs> why get an associate's degree at that point? Seems like you're good. You should do that realized, of course, there's the Jew. There it is right there. He was a Jew. He had Jewish parents. He had a Jewish mother. A Jewish mother doesn't care if her son is the son of God. She's still going to be like, well, you should have something to fall back on in case the whole Messiah thing doesn't pan out. He covers you during the day, you Messiah at night, you get some disciples under your belt, then you make the switch. That's why I bet Jesus, I don't know, I bet he wasn't that great a carpenter. You know, you never hear about feats of carpentry in the Bible, right? It's never that line of lepers and blind people and just some guy with like a broken cabinet, you know? <laughs> I bet the first guy to take the Lord's name in vain was actually complaining about some shitty work he'd done on their house. <laughs> some guy's like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I mean, what am I paying you for, honestly? Oh, well, it's gonna take a miracle to fix this. 